Oh, so a big kind of, um, I've paid for a lot of damn programs over the years, a lot of programs. I don't even want to think about how much money I've spent. <laughs> I don't even want to start adding it up. It would be painful. Um, and some have been good. Some have been great. Some have been mediocre and, you know, everything in between. Uh, while I don't, I'm, I don't subscribe to the idea that, I don't subscribe to the idea that every guru is like a scammer or whatever. But when it comes to selling, there's this, there's this belief, there's this, uh, it's taught in a lot of programs and still is taught now that if you want to sell a high ticket program, like, you know, 2K plus, um, you need to make your prospect feel pain. So like, let's say it's a dating program. You need to be like, what's it going to be like if you continue being single? You know, you're 40 years old now. What's it going to be like if you carry on being single? What's it going to be like if you're single when you're 50? What's it going to be like if you're 60? You're going to die alone in the gutter. You're going to have no one to share your life with. And you're probably going to like, uh, you're probably going to kill yourself one day. You're going to be so lonely and miserable. And you're like, Ugh. and I'm just like, I don't feel good making people feel bad. You know, it's not, is that, is that what's necessary to sign people up? Or, you know, if you're selling a, um, let's say you're selling uh, a fitness program. Oh, you're fat and overweight. Well, what's it going to be like if you continue being fat and overweight? Well, your arteries are going to clog up and your, uh, your liver is going to shut down and you're probably going to die from some sort of like heart failure at the age of 43 instead of living a long life like everyone else. You know, if, is, that what you, uh, is that what you want to happen? Because that's on it. But, you know, that's what's on, road, on, on the road for you. Uh, you need to fix this now. Now, this has been like a way of selling for years and years. And I'm not saying it's wrong to do this. Like, I'm not saying it's wrong. If someone doesn't realize they've got a big train crash coming in, it's not wrong for you to point it out to them. But it's also, I also don't think it's right to deliberately go, okay, where's the pain? How can I manipulate that? in order to make the person sign up. Because what ends up happening is you make someone feel so bad that they need to sign up. They sign up today, then tomorrow they wake up and they don't feel bad, they don't feel bad anymore, and suddenly they get buyer's remorse and they feel bad about joining your program, or they feel like they want to, they want a refund, or you know, you, you get all these problems that you don't want. So another problem as well with making people feel bad is when you aim at the people who are in pain, what ends up happening is you get the ones who are like, I feel bad now. Um, so I want to jump out of the fire. In motivation terms, you call it towards a motivation and away from motivation. So towards motivation is when you're really motivated to get towards a goal and you won't stop until you reach it. Away from motivation is where like, I am sitting on a fire and it hurts, so I want to jump out of the fire. So in terms of motivation, when you're sat on a fire, you're very motivated to jump out of it. But once you're out of the fire, you're not motivated to continue working. Whereas towards motivation, when you're motivated by a goal, what happens is until you reach your goal, you are still motivated to get there, which means your motivation stays longer than just getting out of feeling bad. So if you only sign up people who sign up because they feel bad, what happens is they join your program feeling bad and they're motivated at first, but then they stop working. They don't do the work in your program because they don't feel bad long enough to actually be motivated to keep on doing the work. So, you know, you might sign someone up and they might do a bit of work. They might get one date and then be like, oh, I don't feel bad anymore. Or they might start making a bit of money or lose a little bit of weight, say. And then they don't feel as bad anymore and they're not motivated. Whereas if you go after people where they're doing well already, but they're people who are really interested in like self-development, whatever, like someone like myself who's you come to me and you show me, hey, you're doing well in this area. Uh, let's say you come to me and you say, you're doing really well in your business, Richard. But if you did this, 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 and this, you could be making this much money. You could be impacting this many people. Yeah, you're doing great now, but look how good you could be doing if you did this. And you could make me believe that your system, your method could help me do that. I'd, I'd give you 10 grand straight away to teach me that. No problem. Really, I'm a really easy sell when you do that. But if you try and make me feel like shit and make me, you know, make me show me like what a worthless piece of crap I am and what a terrible job I'm doing in my business and how I'm just like a worthless slug and my wife's going to leave me if I don't like fix it soon and all that, it's just not going to work. Because I'm going to be like, yeah, but I'm not a worthless slug and I'm doing pretty well. So. I don't appreciate you trying to make me feel bad. That level of pain motivation doesn't work on me. So what I'm after is people at a higher level who are doing well enough where they go, I'm doing well, but I could be doing even better. Those people tend to have the money because they're doing better in life because they're further ahead and they're motivated to keep on going. So what I do on like sales calls or chats is I show people, look, I, you're doing really well. I don't need to make you feel bad. 
well, you could be doing this. You, this is how well you could be doing. And I go into, on the ecosystem program, week three, I go into massive detail about, I talk about levels of consciousness. Google it if you've not heard of it, levels of consciousness, about how to appeal to, appeal, appeal to people in the upper half of that, uh, of that levels of consciousness. So you get the right kind of people in your program. So you don't get these problems of having to motivate and cajole people and beat people to do the work and, then people don't do the work and then they blame you. I've experienced this before, you know, and I still get this occasionally. I've experienced this recently and it's not good. So, you know, I, I talk about how to attract those kind of people because they're a joy to work with. They hand over their money easily and it's really, really straightforward. So if you want to know how to do that, send me a message. Otherwise, I'll be back very soon with another live video.